Welcome everyone. This is New Voices News Broadcast and I'm your hostess, Olga Pavlidou Kutrubis. In our broadcast, we are interviewing Lions leaders who are leading by example. Our radio broadcast is part of the Equality Campaign, a long-run campaign about human rights that launched by our club, Athens Specialty New Voices. We strongly believe that this is the time. This is a time for a public dialogue about human rights. That's why our club has been created, to serve equality among the people, not only among the gender. We are serving human rights in new ways. Our mission is to educate our children from the early years about human rights. Today, we have the honor to have with us the GATT Area Leader Europe, PTG Carla Sifola. Welcome. Welcome to the club, your Lions Club. You have joined a global movement of over 1.4 million people in more than 200 countries that want to change the world. Look at some of the work that lions like you are doing to change lives. As a lion, you too have the chance to come together with others to improve your community while growing personally in service and enjoying the fellowship of other lions, as well as Leo's, our sponsored youth volunteers. Did you know that our tradition of volunteering goes back more than 100 years? Our founder, Melvin Jones, believed that selfless service to others would create a better world for all. And his belief has resonated with people like you who dedicate time, talent, treasure, and conduct service through fellowship. Today, we are united around five global causes, vision, environment, hunger, childhood cancer, and diabetes. Each club determines if and how they will support these causes and others that affect their communities. Whether you're interested in one of these five issues or have another area of interest, you have the opportunity to be a part of service projects that are meaningful to you. Your club is not alone in your work. You are part of something bigger. Your club is supported at the district, multiple district, constitutional area, and international levels by Lions dedicated to helping you get the most out of being a Lion. At each of these levels is a global action team, a group of experienced and active Lions who work together to strengthen membership, service impact, and leadership development. This team provides access to key programs and tools. This ensures that all clubs and members like you have the skills, knowledge, and resources needed to provide impactful service in their communities. And the Lions Club's International Foundation, known as LCIF, supports impactful service through the efforts of Lions Clubs and partners in serving communities locally and globally through humanitarian service projects and grants. When you donate to LCIF, our foundation, you empower fellow Lions as they take on pressing global causes. Your international headquarters in Oak Brook, Illinois, USA provides assistance and tools to help clubs like yours and members like you get the most out of being a lion. You now have access to tools and resources, including member services, that will help with everything from service projects to convention preparation to conflict resolution. As a member, you also have access to additional resources, such as the My Lion app, where you can connect with fellow Lions worldwide, find service activities wherever you are, and explore new ways to make a difference. Starting today, you can truly take steps to change your community. As a new member, you'll receive emails helping you to learn about the many benefits of being a Lion and the various opportunities that await you in service, personal development, professional connections, and more. In the meantime, get to know your fellow club members Participate in service activities, share your skills, and, if it's right for you, take on a leadership role. Visit lionsclubs.org welcome to learn more about our association, foundation, and membership perks just for you. What you've heard just now are just a few of the many benefits and opportunities of being a lion. You've taken this first step to become a Lion and you are not alone in your journey. Your sponsor and your club's membership chair can help you to learn more about your club and more about being a Lion. 
So now the question is, where will your lion's journey lead you? Carla is a teacher of English and teacher trainer. She has coordinated both special projects for the diffusion of the English language and European projects and has served on several study commissions abroad. She has been evaluation member in various competitions for teachers and was selected by the British Council to participate in a specialization course in English teaching teaching methodology and developing learners' autonomy in language education, run by the University of Leeds, together with the Nile Institute of Norwich. She collaborated on projects at the University of Camerino, married to Tonino Mori, also lion. She is the mother of two children and grandmother of four grandchildren. Formerly a lioness, she is a charter member of Civitanova Marke Cluana Lions Club, in which she has served in every role except that of treasurer. I can understand that. She was district officer and committee coordinator for 12 years, member of the cabinet several times, as zone chairperson, region chairperson, Tail Twister. She coordinated for three years until its completion the district service. Let's adapt Voliso Village construction of an educational center which currently provides education to 1,300 children and was part of the delegation that went to Ethiopia three times. Imagine people, she took part in the Lions Pan African Convention in Addis Abeba and where she illustrated the project at the presence of the President of the Republic of Ethiopia from whom she was received together with the district delegation during the second trip to Ethiopia. She also coordinated for two years the National Service Lions Against Hunger, Sri Lanka project, whose goal was building a triposa factory. Triposa is a nutrition for newborn babies. Elected uh, two times vice, vice uh, district uh, governor. In 2015, she became governor in July 2017. In July 2018, the international president, Gudrun Ikvantotir, asked her to enter the CA4 New Voices team. And since then, she has never stopped working on the program, both internationally and nationally. She is area leader in CA4 from July 2012 and live certified instructor, LCIP. Melvin Jones Progressive, she was speaker at the Europa Forum in Klagenfurt and at the Mediterranean Conference in Tagheri and Bologna. Along the, uh, the years, she wrote numerous articles in the MD108 National Magazine and in the District 108A1. Area Leader Carla, welcome. Glad to have you in our radio broadcast. So many things. So let me ask you, um, I know that we are on a mission to grow, a mission 1.5. Why we seek for more members? Why someone to join Lions? Well, first of all, good evening to everybody. It is a pleasure for me to be here and thank you, Olga, for your kind invitation. Going back to your question, yes, we are in a mission to grow and uh, we are asked to reach the goal of this mission for June 2027. Why do we seek for new members? Because we wanted to serve more and better. 1.5 million members can serve 1 billion people, the double of the people we serve today who are 500 million. This is the real final goal of mission 1.5. I invite you to consider what we are doing today, thanks to our global actions, the good we are doing, the needs we are satisfying, the people we are helping. Well, all this can be doubled. 
our impact that is already incredible at all latitudes can double as well. And when we think at this, according to me, we must be invested by a wave of enthusiasm because our unique aim is to help our communities locally and thanks to LCIF globally. And with more and diverse members, please do not forget the great value that our associations gives to diversity. We have more competencies, more brain, more hands at work. And this is richness for us. We could arrive where we haven't arrived yet. We can satisfy the needs we haven't satisfied yet. It means fewer people with vision problems, more children helped in their fight against cancer, more people fight against diabetes and so on. In one word, mission to grow correspond to mission to serve. This is why people have to join Lions. And I can say that the challenge of this mission has been accepted everywhere. In Europe, after many years of the growth, we are having an incredible year. Some multi districts have already achieved and even exceeded the goals that were set for them. The majority of the district where no club had been chartered in the last few years now have one new club. Many of the clubs that had not introduced new members in the last years now have a new member. So our attention to membership works. I must say that we Lions have always been able to achieve our goals, no matter how difficult they could have seemed at the beginning. I remember, for example, campaign 100 that one was launched. Everybody thought it was impossible to reach those goals. On the contrary, we surpassed the goals. And I hope and I want to believe that this will happen also with mission 1.5. There are many people who care for others and would like to contribute for a better world. We Lions can give them this opportunity because we are solidarity builders in search of other solidarity builders. And together we can make a great difference in our community. I remember that it was three hours ago, uh, some Lions friends of Club 131 in Lithuania invited the members of their community to clean a park that was UNESCO heritage together. So lions and not lions at work together. They cooked, had lunch, and after this experience, many of the participants became lions. The same happened in Italy, in Multi District 108 last year, where we launched the campaign Together We Can. And the community was invited to serve with the local lions to realize a service together. Once more, the answer was incredible. And the multi-district ended the year with many, many, many new members for the first time after a long time. And the same is happening this year too. We must involve the community in what we do. It is the best way to let people know what being a lions is. And when they know what means being a lions, they join. Exactly. We participated, both of us, from the beginning when new voices were created and we become part of the big team from all over the world. I know yeah. that you believe that in order our association to improve, it is necessary to focus on gender balance, a balance of male, female presence, as you say. So tell us about new voices. What is the new voices initiative? Is it an initiative in progress? And if yes, why? Oh, well, I, I am always very happy when I can talk about new voices, because according to me, this initiative is something great. Uh, it was launched in uh, 2018 by Gudrun Van Gotir to support gender balance in Lions. We uh, women at those times were 23% in Europe. And the Gudrun Van Gotti created in each constitutional area a team of four uh, women that could support the project. That was a very flexible one. 
then the initiative gradually evolved, as you say, and uh, it is uh, still in progress. Today, more than a program, as the coordinator, uh, past international director, Elizabeth Adorer says, New Voices is a real movement that involves women, men, young people, and brings lions together throughout Europe. As New Voices, we wanted to communicate, to explain, to facilitate, to create a network between lions. In this way, they can exchange good practices, inspire each other, support service leadership, marketing and membership. And also the support to mission 1.5 of the New Voices is very strong. And the New Voices focus on young people helps other lions to have the same attention to Leo, Leo lions and young members. What does it mean that New Voices is a movement? It means that besides the four new voices nominated by the governors in the districts, more and more people can spread their messages, can tell their stories. And storytelling is very important for us because storytelling inspires. We have to debunk that new voices is only for women. It is for everybody. For example, in Italy, a young Leo Lion, Lorenzo Di Marco, entered the European team last year and is working with great commitment and passion. And I could also mention Alper Kukulu, a, a Turkish young lion. So please, not only women, but men, young people, and whoever wants to be active and to help LCI to make its voice heard and its, uh, uh, its action better known everywhere. Of course, a particular attention is given to women also now, because the percentage of women, it is again quite low, even if we pass from a 23% in Italy, for example, to a 30%, that is a good result. Now, there is a team of passionate young lions that is working in the New Voices Team Europe, and those members come from all Europe. I can mention Roxanda, Vanessa, Alina, Otmar, and other valuable members who help the team to reach the single districts and multi-districts in Europe. So New Voices really can reach every corner of CA4. An interesting thing that I want to refer is that one of the governors of the coming fiscal year, so now is DGE, told me that New Voices helped him to move the first steps into lionism and contributed so much to his growth as lions, focusing on important issues and topics during the famous firesides that are regularly organized. And I take the, uh, the occasion to invite everybody to our 30 fireside, yes, fireside number 30, that will take place on June the 13th. If you wanted to register, you can find uh, in my page, in my Facebook page, uh, that they wait to, to register. I will publish it tomorrow. So going back to New Voices, if there is a good idea in service, New Voices spread this idea. If there is an important topic to deal with, the New Voices develop this topic facing many aspects of lionism, highlighting many important issues. A beautiful thing is that during the fireside, everybody can speak, can express themselves on the topics that are focused, and then we can debate together. One of the last topics we had was that of the youth camp. Believe me, youth camp is a very famous service, but not every lions know him. So we had a great participation with many questions from participants at the very end. The number of lions who are attending is growing and growing and many suggestions about the themes that will be treated in the future are given by the participants themselves. They suggest what is important to, to deal with and then we choose together. A slogan was created that clearly expressed the aim of the initiatives and it is new voices, new ideas, and it is very appropriate. 
this slogan refers to new ideas on how to approach new members, for example, on how to impact more and better the communities, and also on how to help our personal leadership to grow. There is much to do, and everybody is welcome in the New Voice team. New voice, new ideas, never forget. Thank you. Never forget. And never come forget. to our fireside on the 13th of June. I will be there. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you, BTZ. Allow me to ask you now. You passed through numerous positions. Today, you are a GAT area leader. Which is the most important, according to you, position that you had till now and why? This is a difficult question to answer. Personally, the most important position that I had in LCI, the one that allowed me to grow both as a lion and as a person too, was that of club president. I was president a long time ago and that time lionism was a little different in those days. But it is in that position that I understood, fully understood how much to do how much beautiful, how many beautiful things we can do and how important is our role as Lions. For me, it was the first experience as Lions leader and I learned how important it is working in team, motivating your group, sharing objectives and realizing projects together. And I have to thank my club for this. That is a very dynamic and a propositive club. I can say, that all the experiences that followed are really fruit of that experience as president, as zone, zone chairperson, as region chairpersons. I, I applied on larger scale what I had learned and experimented as club president, even when I was governor. Narasha Gaval, who was international president in the year I served as governor, launched this motto, the power of we. That is something which I have always believed so much. And they say it again, the first time I tried to involve in common action people around me was during my year as president. And for this reason, I always invite people not to be afraid to take that role. Sometimes clubs have the same president for three, four, five. Once I met a club that had the same club president for seven years, one after the other. Then they ask, but where are the other members? And if this situation happens, there is something that must be changed in that club. I promised to my club that in a very new future, I will be president once more for the second time. And they will be very happy to, to, to put the experience that I gained in all these years in so many different roles at the service of my club, of my community. And today as area leaders, it is the same thing, working together, planning together, realizing together. The area leader is a joining link between the headquarters, the borders and the executive and the multi-districts and districts on the other side. It is necessary working together and, rev and having a honest and a good relationship with great sincerity. I know that sometimes it is not always easy. There are obstacles to break down. There are ideas that are difficult to, to change, but we must never forget the reason why we are here, to improve the condition of life of less fortunate people. And we cannot allow politics, religion, different cultural background to stop or invalidate our action. <clears throat> what must never change, whatever position or role we have from the club member to international president is our enthusiasm, our commitment and our, and our awareness that can make the difference in the lives of many. And if I have one more minute, there is another experience that I like very much and I want to tell. And it is that of trainer and of faculty. I'm an LCIP. Because in a training experience, 
trainer and the trainee grow, grow together. Each one gives something to the other. It is not a transmission of knowledge or a transfer from one container that is the trainer to another one that is the, the trainee. But once more, it is an enriching, a passionate journey for both. And I wanted to tell you an idea of mine. As teacher trainer, I worked with many teachers in my career. But there is a huge difference between those teachers and lions who attend the course institute. Those teachers, even excellent, they were there because they had to. The institution they were working for asked them to be there to update themselves. Our lions attend the leadership courses because they really wanted to serve in the best possible way. They want to know more because of their passion for LCI and spend their free time, usually weekends, far from the family, with us because they want to be better volunteers. And believe me, this makes the difference. I totally agree. With so many, it's easy to miss just one. Look closer. At Lions Club's International Foundation, while our numbers tell a story, with nearly $1.3 billion in grants, 1.4 million Lions volunteers in 200 countries and regions served, the most meaningful number is one. Like this one, and this one, and this one. LCIF's power is measured by one. One life forever changed by your donations. Like Daria from Romania, who learned how to manage diabetes at a summer camp. Rita from West Bengal, who enjoys the health benefits of cleaner water. Ivana from Ukraine, who found safety and security during a war. Dr. Summit from Nepal, who gained access to education through Sight First and helped others see their world in a new light. And Mercedes from Texas, who will begin to rebuild her life after a fire tore much of it down. Since 1968, LCIF has provided more than 20,000 grants totaling over $1 billion. Critical funds that empower Lions to expand their service and strengthen our humanitarian mission across Lions global causes. But our true impact is understood on a far more personal level. Like families in Puerto Rico who were given nourishment after disaster struck. Yodying from Bangkok who received much needed eye surgery, gaining a new perspective on life. A student in El Salvador who gained vital social-emotional skills from Lion's Quest, setting him on a path to success. And a child in Sub-Saharan Africa who received critical drugs and treatment to fight cancer. These are the true numbers behind every LCIF grant. The stories of one. Every day around the world, a person is hungry, cold, suffering, and LCIF grants provide much needed support. Support that nourishes, warms, and comforts. When you donate to LCIF, 100% of your gift supports grants that expand our compassionate programs and empower Lion service around the world. Humanitarian service that impacts millions of lives. One person at a time. I will ask you, uh, you know, a question that many people um, are asking is, what is the difference between humanitarian organization and philanthropic association? Uh, so the question for us is, for today is, Lions International is a humanitarian organization is the largest service club organization in the world. Is the largest service club organization in the world which is the difference 
uh, with a philanthropic association? Well, I would like to clarify at the beginning the difference between a volunteer and a philanthropist. The volunteer that works in a humanitarian organization and the philanthropists have one important point in common. Both of them would like to improve someone else's life, someone in the need, of course. They are moved by love and attention towards others. They promote the well-being and happiness of others, but they do that in a different way. The philanthropist usually donates his money and can also donate his time. In fact, generally speaking, the key element that distinguishes philanthropic activity mm -hmm. is the sharing of private resources, their resources. Mm -hmm. The term uh, humanitarian organizations refers to a type of non-profit association with the aim of helping people in different ways to improve the living condition of the beneficiaries. But in this case, the volunteers do that building projects and using their energy, their knowledge, their know-how. I would like to give an example. If we think at the huge number of uh, orphans that we had in the past, after the Industrial Revolution, for example. Don't ask me why I'm going so back in time, because I think that the example is proper. Well, the philanthropist could uh, have contributed to the expenses of their livelihood in the immediate, paying their food, their fee, their uniforms. But the members of a humanitarian organization could have built a life project for this young person and follow the development of this life project. And this project could have provided them with skills and enabled them to find a job and earn an honest living in the future. So this is the, the great uh, difference between the two. Science International is a humanitarian organization. And the cells of these organizations are the Alliance Clubs. Attention, not the single member, but the clubs. It is the action of the clubs that can change the lives of many. And uh, as humanitarian organizations, we have our global causes that involve all the lions in the world. The work of the clubs allow LCI to be truly incisive on a large scale, to face problems at worldwide level and not in a single reality or place. Let's consider one of our areas, for example, that can be the environment. We are planting trees all around the world. Really, the earth is becoming more green, thanks to us and our organized action. We are not uh, taking care of a single park or of a single garden. And this is a great potential. Besides, as a humanitarian organization, Lions Clubs International wants not only help people in the need, but also to have an impact on a cultural level. They want to co develop a culture of solidarity that involves anyone, everyone, and this is very important. Changing the world is the motto of our international president, Patsy Hill. And uh, we can change the world only if we plant this culture of solidarity. And there is another thing that comes to my mind. It is the saying, if a person is hungry, do not give him fish, but give him a rod and teach fishing. That summarizes quite well what we are talking about. Considering anyway that sometimes even giving a single fish is very, very important for someone. But about teaching fishing, for example, many Lions clubs are contributing to start drip irrigation in Burkina Faso so that women uh, do not receive a loaf of bread, but they learn how to plant vegetables and cultivate and grow these vegetables. But in conclusion, despite the difference, philanthropic associations and humanitarian organizations are both of them necessary 
to help people in the need. Correct. Our association, as we said before, has a specific goal to raise awareness about human rights. That's why we ask always the following question. Unfortunately, after the pandemic, instead of defining the new normal and defining our values, we have wars, national issues are raised between countries, social conflicts, gender violence. Do you believe that human rights are more important than ever and it is imperative that they should be adapted? This is a very serious question. And the picture that you give, unfortunately, is real. During COVID time, we used to repeat always, always, we will come out of all this as better people, as better persons. Unfortunately, this improvement did not occur. We have a war in Europe, a war at the door of Europe. As Pope Francesco said, there is a worldwide war being fought in pieces in all the world. And the human rights are trampled upon. Just think, going far, about the indigenous people in Amazon. Think of the child brides, of the forced marriages, of the lack of freedom of expression in many, many, many countries in the world. And without going so far, Think at what happens in our society, sexual abuses, homophobia, clash of cultures, domestic violence, exploitation, and the list can be very, very long. There is a Latin proverb that says, homo homini lupis, that means the man is a wolf to other men. And this is terrible. When I was a child, my grandmother used to say that Nothing in the world is more precious than a human life. And that each person has a great and priceless value that must be defended. Unfortunately, this principle seems to have gone out of fashion. And what's worse, it seems that there is neither the strength nor the will to fight against this. But those who believe that building a better world is possible. Those who believe that there is hope, well, these people must act as a barrier. They must be strong voices capable of being heard everywhere. Human rights not only need to be defended, but a human being must be educated to their respect from his early childhood. Those who do not care about human rights have already lost part of their humanity. So, of course, human rights are more important than ever. In this regard, I would like also to mention, again, Agenda 2030. Certainly, it is not the resolution of all evils, because if the heart of man does not change, the mind of man does not change, everything is fruitless. Agenda 2039, nine years ago, so not yesterday, nine years ago, fixed 17 goals that, if reached, will help in this sense, even if they wouldn't solve all the problems. Many of the goals of this agenda are also our goals. Think at no poverty, gender equality, decent work for everybody, reduce inequalities, peace and justice. But we, are, we can even go beyond them, contributing to building a culture of respect for every man, every woman, every child, every living creature. Dear BTG, time passed so quickly with you. Thank you once again for your participation. Dear friends, till our next broadcast, Stay tuned, stay positive, see you soon. Don't forget, New Voices News broadcast. Be there with us. Hello to everybody. Hello. Bye bye. 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 Searching your heart to find a purpose in your life. 
What are you looking for? It is a better world We born to be equal and free It's a dream of future I'm just as free This dream will be fulfilled of When children belong to a family too And I'm not hungry too Here's a lesson that we To not live your life depends on it Don't destroy and punish it Here's a lesson that we must take home We all unique, I am you and you are me We all have rights on earth To health, to education, to dignity Human rights must be protected We are free to dream, to travel, to speak Light of justice, we must be We have to have inner peace So don't judge me, because I defer The way I talk, I see, I walk Open your mind to see, how often we say We're all the same, and after we differentiate There are wars Think what future do you want What we should be looking for Is a better future A better world Here's a lesson That we should 